Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll be creating our first enemy AI. So I have a scene here with uh, all the white cubes are my obstacles and the gray cube is my player and the spear is my enemy. The spear is going to find its path on its own and avoid the obstacles in between and go to the player. So my cube here I have set the tag as player and the spear here will be our enemy spear. So we will be using something called now for this AI motion we will be using something called navigation in unity. So unity navigation requires some major components. The first one is navigation agent. So agent is the object that is going to move through the plane. Second is your navigation obstacles. So the things that are going to act as an obstacles are going to be navigation obstacles. Third is a nav mesh. Nav mesh is the available path for the player to move around. First, we'll assign the obstacle and the agent components to the game objects and then we'll create a nav mesh and then we'll use a script to assign the destination for the enemy so that it finds the path and goes to the player. So since spear is our enemy, let's add the navigation nav mesh agent to it. So next we have to add obstacles. So let's select all our cube except for the player cube and then click on add component nav mesh obstacle. So we have added a nav mesh obstacle and check car. So if you check car, then these obstacles will be baked into the nav mesh and when the enemy is trying to find the path it will it will create a route that will avoid all these obstacles if car is if car is unchecked it will go collide with the object and then change its direction so we'll check car now that your nav mesh agent and the nav mesh obstacle is assigned next select your plane and go to window AI navigation. Now select navigation static and the navigation area will be walkable. Go to agent. If you want the player to step on things that are at a particular height, for example, if, if the height is less than 0.5, then you, you can allow the player to step on it and cross it. And similarly, you can decide on the slope if you have slope in your surface, then you can decide up to what angle your player can navigate. So let's keep it zero as of now since this is a simple nav mesh. Let's go to bake and we'll keep the slope to zero here and step height to 0.1 and click on bake. So as you can see, you will see a blue nav mesh here and this nav mesh is, has avoided all the obstacles. So this spear will be able to move around this blue area. Now to move the enemy game object, let's use our script. So let's add a new script. Let's call it enemy move. New script, create an add. Let's open it in Visual Studio for editing. Now for using the nav mesh, you have to add using unity engine dot AI. Now we need the nav mesh agent component. Uh, we'll name it enemy. Now in the start function, let's get the component. Nav mesh agent. So now we have our nav mesh agent. In update, we'll do game object dot find with tag and our tag is player. For that, we'll need a game object variable. We'll call it player. Now we'll set player equals 
We'll do this in the start function because we need to find it only once. So in the update, we'll just set enemy dot set destination in brackets. It will be player dot transform dot position. So now we have an nav mesh agent reference, then we get got the component and then we found our player and then we have set our enemy's destination to the player. So using the nav mesh, the enemy will find its own path to the destination. So let's go back to unity. The camera view is not good enough for us to see how the spear will move. So let's increase the Y of camera to 5 and then rotate it by maybe 30 degrees and then we'll play the game. So you can see how the spear is moving. So if I go to the scene view and move my cube, the spear will follow. You created your first AI in Unity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.